when you ask chat gpt to scrap data from amazon using beautiful soup library that is used in python this is how the output looks like and when you copy this code and paste it in python and lastly when you run it you will either get an error or the code will not work for you why this happens and how you can scrap the data from amazon using chat gpt we'll be learning that in this video so hello everyone and a very warm welcome to ws cube tech my name is ayushi jain and in this video we are going to talk about how we are going to scrap data from amazon because when we directly ask chat gpt to scrap data from amazon it gives us a code but if you paste that code in your pycharm or in any editor that you use it will definitely generate you an error or, or if it will not generate you an error it will not give give you any output this happens because if i scroll it down and so if i write print response that means the http request which we have sent to amazon if i try to print it it shows me the status code is 503 let's search for response 503 that what does it says for response 503 now if i open a new tab and paste this let's open the first link in here it says service is unavailable that means the hypertext transfer protocol http 503 service unavailable server error response code indicates that the server is not ready to handle the request that means amazon will not allow you to scrap the data now then how you can scrap the data how you can ask chat gpt to scrap the data we will be knowing that in this video so let's get started guys so for this all you need to do is you need to first go on the amazon's website so first of all i'll open amazon and you can search for anything for example i'm going to search for laptop and here is my page you can as you can see all the products are here if you'll scroll down all the laptops are here now to inspect this page you need to right click here click on inspect the cursor on the top let's first start with the boxes that means these complete boxes as we have seen in our previous videos of web scrapping in the whole playlist of web scrapping that first of all we need to extract all these divs and from inside these divs we need to extract the data so here we have our code let's look for it so this is the box where we have the data let's right click here let's click on edit as html in here we will be starting from div and we'll copy till the whole class let's copy this let's go back to python in main.txt that means i'm creating a text file over here i'll be passing this so i'll be pasting this over here that here we have div and the class is this now from this we need to extract some data so again let's go back in here first of all what do we need to extract we need to extract the name so let's select name and i guess name is in here in this span tag let's right click here let's again select edit as html copy the tag along with the class we'll copy it and paste it back here in the next line after this the next thing that we need to extract is let's say price so let's go to price let's extract the price right click again edit as html copy the tag along with the class copy it bring it back to your text file and lastly we can add the reviews as well so here we have the reviews again right click edit as html start from span and copy the whole class here so you need to do this this is a different method that we are approaching this time we have not seen this method in the web scrapping so we will be using a html parser over here to scrap the data now we have all these four things after this what we need to do we need to start with with python read a file name now what we need to do we need a file name over here which has all the data because we cannot extract the data from amazon's website directly that's why what we will be doing over here is we'll go back to this website i'll just click on the cross because now we have all the tags and all the classes i'll just press control s to save this web page I'll be saving it here Amazon in laptops or you can just rename it by amazon.html. So you need to remember that the extension over here would be html. Let's save it. So we are saving this web page. It will take a little while once it is saved. You can go back in your code and here you can write amazon and probably it has capital A amazon.html and parse it with beautiful soup. After this 
as there are many divs over here you can see there are many boxes many similar boxes only the data is different in each of them anyways all the boxes are similar that they each have the image url they each have the name they each have the price they have the reviews and stars and everything so everything is similar only the divs are different so first of all we need to find all the divs for that we will be writing what we need to find find all divs with class this is our class so we need to find all the divs now from all the divs that means we will be writing for all the divs we need to find this tag so in front of it i'll be writing find span tag with class the class that we have provided and store it to we need to create give a name of the variable so uh, these are the names so maybe product name and store it to product name next write find again find span tag with class the class that we have provided and again we need to store it in a variable so again i'll be writing the same thing that and store it to product price lastly again we'll repeat the same step for this one so find with and store it to product reviews and lastly as we need to save it in an excel file or a csv file so we can over here write that open in excel file and write product name comma product price and product reviews now even if i'll write this code to chat gpt it will give me one slight small error what this uh, what this error would be is this that if i'll scroll down and see all the products over here so let's scroll down let's see all the products what you will notice here is that in some of the laptops the name is there the price is there but the reviews are not given so what we need to do is we need to use the method of try and accept that wherever there is no review available or a no product price uh, is available in that case it it needs to pass a blank over there so for that let's go back here and in front of it we'll just write try and if it doesn't works use the accept statement so in python try and accept statements are used to handle the errors that means in the try we write the code in which we might think that error will occur in the accept we write the statement which needs to appear if the error happens so if for any reason the error occurs in this statement in that case the accept will handle it by writing accept our product name will be equal to what an empty string so accept product name would be equal to our empty string maybe you can pass a space in between and you can use the same method for all three of them but just remember to change the names so it won't be product name but it would be product price and this one would be product reviews and lastly put try in front of all of them yes it is a bit longer procedure but once it is done you can do it for all the pages that are there on amazon so if you have like 10 pages 20 pages 30 40 whatever number of pages you want to scrap you can scrap the data from all of them now our code that we need to provide chat gpt is ready all you need to do is copy this code and let's copy it let's go back to chat gpt and maybe we can create a new chat in here let's paste it let's run so it has already started creating a python code for us you can see that it has it is using three libraries here that is our request library a uh, beautiful soup and lastly open py excel with the help of which we will be creating an excel workbook so it has find all the divs in and from these div it is now finding the name the price and the reviews so first it has done it has written this code for the names next it has written this part of code for the price and lastly for the reviews here it has also used the method of if else instead of try and accept uh, chat gpt is suggesting us to use if else conditional statements and lastly our code is done and in the end you will also notice that it has told us to install the libraries that is install beautiful soup install open py excel so you can copy this data you can copy this code go to a command prompt and you can paste it for me it's already installed that's why i'll just copy the code go back to our python go back to demo.py and remove our previous code which was suggested by chat gpt make sure this uh, the amazon page that you have saved is in the same file where your python code is otherwise you will have to pass let's run it as soon as you'll run it you will see that amazon products.xlxs is here let's double tap on it and it does not have anything now uh, the reason over here is this 
that we have the url we have the response and we have the html content it's still going with the url so still we need to make some changes in here so instead of using read amazon.html read file amazon.html and parse it with beautiful soap maybe this could be a better solution to this and let's go back in here so maybe at the bottom i'll paste the same code let's press and enter and let's see if anything changes this time okay now it's not using the request library that means this code will definitely work because uh, we do not need to use request library as we are not sending any http request to any website here we are directly scrapping the data from the html file that we have already saved with us again it's repeating the same procedure but this time it's not scrapping the data from a website it's scrapping the data from amazon.html as a file that we have saved in our desktop now let's copy this code let's go back in here let's go to demo.py i'll be selecting all deleting it and pasting this data let's also delete amazon product.xlsx as it is of no use and now after pasting it let's run and see what output we'll get again there is a small error that is maybe for the unicode but yeah i'll just show it to you so whatever error pops up over here you need to copy it paste it in a new tab we need to decode our file and yes this is definitely that error only so all we need to do is so we need to encode our file this is definitely that error and as you can see here we have the solution that encoding is equals to utf8 let's go back to python again let's scroll it down and after reading the file comma i'll pass it and now let's run it again here it has executed here it has been executed let's open amazon product.xlsx and now you can see that all the data has and now you can see all the data is here all the data from our page number 1 that is the name of the product the product price and lastly the product reviews here all of them are not in a number format so what you can do is you can select them all go to general change it to number here you will notice that all of them are not in a number format so what you can do select all of them here convert to number and now they are in a number format and there are no any errors and similarly if you want to scrap data from our second page all you can do is go to amazon laptop dot in okay this was page number 2 so maybe go to page number 1 or page number 2 whatever page you want to go on so you can go to any page and all you need to do is let's go for page 3 all i need to do is control s and save it at the same location as amazon 2. html now in your python code you do not have to do anything all you need to do is you need to change amazon 2. html and maybe you can save it in another workbook so maybe you can call it amazon products 1 so let's run it again as soon as i'll run it it is also done and we have amazon products 1. xlsx which has the data probably for from page number 3 Yes, it has. So first one is Asus Vivo Book. Let's go to our page, and as you can see over here, that on th on our third page, the first laptop is Asus Vivo Book, and that's how we have scrapped the data easily. And now you can use the same code for all the other pages and for any pages that are there on Amazon, and you can easily scrap the data. And even if you want to scrap a data from any website which is not allowing you to scrap the data. in that case you can save the website and parse it with beautiful soup so i hope guys that this video was clear to you that how we have scrapped the data from amazon using chat gpt I, i hope you have no doubts in the question so i hope guys that this video was clear to you and if you like the video do like share and subscribe and for more such content stay tuned guys thank you